It's been a year, it seems like, since Dua Lipa dropped any new solo material stuff. Oh, there was a Swan song we already listened to. Coldplay, I catched up on that. Uh, a little bit late to the party, but better late than never. Uh, great experience I had with Coldplay and then 21 Savage, also another song. So Dua Lipa, hopefully it's gonna be 343. I don't wanna be disappointed in Dua Lipa because I love her so much. Dua Lipa is a great artist. I've seen her live actually in 2018 last year. Anyway, seems like Dua Lipa has changed her style a little bit. Kinda curious what's gonna be the new era. Don't start now. Dua Lipa, first reaction. Let's fucking go. Okay. It's okay, but I'm not really feeling it at all. I mean, yes, she's continuing the vibes from the first album she had, uh, self-titled album Dua Lipa, which was a good album. Um, it's just th th that 80s vibe, uh, you know, that melodic, uh, upbeat, funky. It's good, but it's not working here. I mean... Uh, Ah, do it, do it, do it. Oh, why? I don't want to hurt you. Oh, because so far, this like before this, you had hit after hit after hit after hit, and like the, your collaborations with other people were was great too. And I'm I was loving every single song. Like you don't you don't believe it, but I loved every single song. In fact, uh, one kiss with Calvin Harris is one of my favorite songs of the year in 2018 and you should have got grammy for that by the way electricity is great and all by the way but dance the best dance recording was one kiss by calvin harris all <laughs> right on the grammys they live they changed the, the places a little bit they didn't even nominate one kiss for some reason but electricity was dope too though don't get me wrong um but damn uh, <laughs> I'm not feeling it. Maybe it's because I listened to Coldplay, I listened to 21 Savage, and the bar was, you know, high, pretty high, because they dropped really good songs. And now, like, we, we come back to regular pop music, and while I review mostly pop music in this channel, uh, and, I, and I am a guy who listens and embraces mainstream music, but sometimes, you know, mainstream music can be bland, and not that inspiring, not that interesting. And when you get amazing, great pop songs, like let's say classics, let's name classics, uh, Toxic by Britney Spears, just right out of the bat, Single Ladies by Beyonce, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Rihanna's, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Drake's Take Care featuring Rihanna, you know, <laughs> like songs like that. Rihanna's, again, uh, I cannot remember <laughs> why, why I cannot remember Rihanna's songs, although I have so many songs that i love stay for example rihanna stay such a powerful song adele you know what I'm saying and i'm for some reason i'm like remembering keep remembering female artists right now but uh, well we're comparing them to dua lipa because dua lipa should be on the uh, on the level of these ladies because dua lipa is an international uh, superstar at this point she is on the same lane with these people so she should conform now it is unfair that I'm, I'm putting this song and comparing to the legendary songs right but i'm saying when pop songs are great they are great they are amazing and i live for it it's so wonderful when we get classic great pop songs the daft punks get lucky i mean i can uh, continue naming great songs but the point is it's just not one of the great at all in fact in 2019 uh, like not many songs in pop can be named 
on the same level as the songs I named uh, already. There aren't many classics. It's like the, this year's like pop declined and it it started to decline from 2017 but i mean still every year we still have good uh, popular songs from time to time but this year the quality of pop songs it, it got worse honestly i mean and Dua Lipa unfortunately couldn't contribute because she could have been the savior she could have dropped an amazing song because do and again like I, it's so hurtful to say for me like i'm choking right now because she was delivering amazing singles like uh new rules again right i don't give a fuck you know this songs amazing songs amazing songs wonderful songs so i don't know what happened i mean and it's not bad it's just really formulaic it's really formulaic oh let's just put it is beat, um, you know, let's keep it groovy and I'm gonna just do some vocal, vocals. It's not bad, again, it's not a bad song, but it's like a 5 out of 10 song, it's just an okay song, it's passable song, but I'm, I'm tired of passable songs in 2019. Give me legendary songs, where are the great juicy vibe songs, where are they? The songs I reviewed this year, I mean, there are, yes, there's still good songs um katy perry's harley in of hawaii many people bashed it by the way also uh, but i mean i'm i'm the one who claimed uh that i actually like it and i, and I do like it a lot i think it's a good song uh it, it has its place in pop harley in hawaii um what else harry Styles song come on uh niall horan's song nice to meet you good song as well uh, you know, I can. I, I mean, I will drop my uh, top fifty songs of the year into uh, at the end of the year, but I'm just a little bit disappointed in state of pop. Uh, and unfortunately, Dua Lipa didn't deliver. I was hoping that we're gonna add possibly like new song to top fifty list. Unfortunately, Dua Lipa didn't make that list with this. Um, Maybe it will grow on me. I mean, all possible, but yeah, I am. I am sad. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but yeah, don't start now. Five out of ten for me. Um, let's out of respect though. Let's finish the song though. For oh, we're gonna get better in the last half of the song. <laughs> Let's give it another try, hold on. <laughs> Maybe I was too judgmental on this song, hold on. What the fuck? Why am I liking this now? <laughs> After all this monologue, why am I liking this now? <laughs> uh, this part, this part is a little bit like cluster. Yeah. Okay. Um, maximum six out of ten. Maximum, if I'm reaching, but still five out of ten. I think it's a fair score, because it, I mean the beginning was is quite nice. It it starts strong, and then the ending is like it kind of uh, gets back its momentum. But the middle is really boring. The middle is a problem of the song. That's why. First time I I, <laughs> I finished listening to it like at 150 mark in the middle because I was oh okay look no this is not good I thought because the middle suffers a lot I don't know what happened but like it's just they they couldn't keep it interesting they didn't know what to put in it on on this song <laughs> like they couldn't stretch the song for three minutes did you get it well that's what's happening with this song honestly like I'm telling the truth. And I'm so I'm so sad to yeah acknowledge that I'm sorry Dua um, Dua my love your your name is really means love and I love you but not this time not this time unfortunately um yeah yeah well and then how uh, Jeremy Clarkson 
you know, usually finish the show. Uh, I'm talking about the Top Gear guys over there and now Grand Tour guys. Uh, on this disappointing note, we have to finish the show. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Uh, hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. And I will see you in the next ones. Do what my love. My heart is broken. I, my heart is broken. Why did I have to do this? <laughs> this you're my favorite artist. <laughs> you're one of my favorites. <laughs> one of my favorite females for sure. <laughs> ah, this so sucks. It sucks. It's only five out of ten. <laughs> no. <laughs>